Oh, I found more high quality money saving tips. Hi, me again. And one of my new favorite hobbies is going through the newspapers and finding the complete nonsense that they print and talking about it to put the record straight because most of it is complete nonsense. And I know I specialize in doing this for the TV license fee and I will continue to do that as well. But the cost of living crisis is hitting everybody. Everybody's feeling it. God, we're really feeling it, I'll tell you. So there's loads of articles about that in the paper at the minute and I thought we could go through a few and see how much nonsense they contain. And to that end, I've got this one. Five cheap and easy ways to heat your home this winter. Well, here we go, this should be good, hey. And I'm gonna give you a few of my own personal tips that I've been doing this year as well to help save a few quid because I don't hold out a lot of hope for these ones. Draft proofing, you can save up to 30 quid. Spending as little as two pound on draft proofing your home could save you 30 quid a year on energy bills. On Amazon, you can buy 10 meters of self-adhesive seal for only two pounds 89. The tape will stop cold air getting in and around by sealing any gaps on windows and doors. Ah, I wanted to rip this list apart, but that's actually quite a good idea. I have done that myself. I didn't buy it off Amazon, but um, I'll try and find that one on Amazon, and I'll put a link below if you want to go and have a look at it. I got it from a pound shop. Well, a pound shop, I think it was, uh, what's that other one called? Pound Stretcher or something, or B&M Home Bargain. It was one of them I got it from. Just a strip of about 10 meters. And um, yeah, it's like sticky on one side. I'll try and take a picture of him, put it over the top, and then like foamy on the other side. Because I had a couple of windows, especially my kitchen window, wasn't brilliant at sealing, and my, my main door and that, yeah, sealed them up. Good idea, good idea, it does work. Bugger, I wanted to rip this apart. All right, what's next? Heat only the room you need. A cheap way of putting on the heating is by only turning the radiators on in the rooms you are using. It means you're not wasting energy and cash heating up the whole house. I don't think I'm gonna be able to rip a lot of this apart, am I? It's another fair, another fair idea. The only thing I would say is, if you're only heating your living room or something, what happens when you wanna to go to bed and the place is blooming freezing? That could be a problem, couldn't it? But if you wanna kip on your sofa, it makes fair do's, doesn't it? And to be fair, I think a lot of people are gonna be kipping on their sofas, why things are going. It? But yeah, no, it's fair do's, it just doesn't help you when you wanna to go to bed or something, does it? Turn the thermostat down, yeah, everybody knows about turn the thermostat down. One degree, they reckon, can save you like 100 quid a year at the minute. And I think we're all gonna be aiming for a lot more than one blooming degree turning down this winter, aren't we? Block your chimney, save 17 pounds. Installing a form of draft excluder in your chimney could save you 17 pounds a year. Depends how much the draft excluder costs, though, doesn't it? If you have to spend 25 quid on a draft excluder, you're actually down eight quid. So it might not be worth it unless you use a bit of cardboard or something, but then that's not gonna be thermally insulative, is it? But um, if you've got a chimney, get a fire going in there, because that's gonna be a lot cheaper to run than your central heating, isn't it? I wouldn't say block your chimney, I'd say use your blooming chimney. Get a fire going, heat your whole house for basically nothing. And there's nothing nicer in the winter, nothing nicer in the winter than an open fire, is there? Nothing nicer. Put foil behind your radiator and save 20 quid. Instead of your radiator blowing hot air at the wall, if you put the foil behind the radiator, it will reflect it. I doubt the efficacy of that, but I know a few people who have tried it and swear by it. It says here, just sellotape the corner of the foil and pop it behind your radiator. And um, yeah, that should improve the looks of your house. I don't know if that's worth the 20 quid to do that. Is it look like a crime scene or something for you on the wall? So it does go on about grants and energy bill discounts and warm home discounts and, and stuff like that. Uh, one of the things I've done, I said I'll give you a couple of my own tips, because um, where it was really hot in the summer and you want a fan and stuff like that, the fan I had, I had a big powerful fan, and I, it must suck the juice out of the wall. I tell you, so what I did, I got this little mini cooling fan, I put a picture of it over, I got it off Amazon, links below, I'm not, you know, if you click it, I make a couple of quid, but not a lot. Um, it's really good, it's battery powered, and it uses these 18650 batteries, the same as like the vaping devices and that use, and I had a few of them kicking about from my vaping days, so I can run it all day for nothing. And then when I go to the office, I just take the charger and those batteries, I charge them off my computer in the office, come home, and I've got a free fan running again. I bet that saved me more than 20 quid a year, because fans don't half suck some energy out. 
don't they? And in the winter, the missus loves, because she's Spanish, isn't she? She absolutely loves an electric blanket. She leaves that thing on all night. You're roasting in bed. She loves it. And I'm not having that. Not having that this year at all. It's going to cost too much to run one of them, isn't it? So what I've done, I found these heating pads. They're like about that big, 35, 40 centimetres squared. And they're USB powered. And they act just like... Um, the electric blankets are not as powerful, but they do work. I tell you, I had them last year, and you shove one up your jumper or up your coat when you're walking about in the cold, and they really do work. So I've got a couple of them, and I'm going to put them in the bed, and they run off USB power, power banks. I've got hundreds of these power banks, right? And again, I'm going to charge them up in the office off my computer. I'm not using any of their electric, really. The computer's on. Save a few quid. You can run them all night, and the power banks cost me nothing to run. They're my two top tips at the minute. More coming soon, though. So I was ready to rip that apart, because you know I don't read these in advance, right? I just briefly skim them to make sure it's something I want to talk about, but I don't read them, because I want to react in the same way you'd react when you hear it for the first time as well. So I was ready to rip that apart, but yeah, there's a couple of fair points in there. But let me know what you think and some of your top tips that you're going to try and save money on ways to heat your home this winter, because I think we're all thinking about it, aren't we? So let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.